Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Hi, welcome to the Christmas Time in the City podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. Before we get started, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Christmas Time in the City podcast on Instagram and Facebook, and at Xmas and City Pod on Twitter. Also, feel free to email any questions or comments to us at Christmas Time in the City podcast at gmail.com. We're back. We reached out to you guys on social media asking for questions, and we got a bunch. So it's time for another listener mailbag episode. Let's answer some questions. Let's answer some questions. We have a bunch of questions, a lot of fun questions, some pretty interesting questions. Let's get right to it. This one says, hi from Sweden. Love your podcast. Have you finished your Christmas shopping? Uh, For the most part, I only have a couple of gifts to give, but um, it's for people that aren't here and we always send our gifts late to each other. It's totally cool. (laughs) Yeah. I just (laughs) found out that that my mom is going on a cruise she is again for <laughs> she's leaving on uh sunday we never she, know she always does this thing where she texts me and she says i just want to remind you that we're going on a cru- <laughs> cruise but i wasn't there when she made the reservation so i don't know ahead of time also i like 95 percent sure that last time we were down there and talked to her she said they weren't gonna do a cruise for christmas this year because your sisters wanted them there oh man well so i don't know what happened but the bon cruise voyage. life, the cruise life pulled them back in. <laughs> it sure did. It says deals, those Christmas deals. Yeah. So right. we have a little extra time to send my mom a gift. Oh no, <laughs> which he has been in charge of since yeah. the beginning. I've narrowed it down to <laughs> English muffins. <laughs> Spoiler: If you're listening, mom, I've oh, narrowed gosh. your gift down to mail order English muffins. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my mom because she listens to this and hi mom, but I was also going to send you English muffins, but then I found something else. But if you still want them, you know, my number, (laughs) (laughs) they look really good. It's no cheap English muffin. We got this catalog from something that we got in the past as a gift and man, were they good. High quality, high quality English muffins. So you finished your Christmas shopping. Yeah. Except for just those little things that, uh. Yeah, but so I usually yeah, send them later. We're basically done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excited. Next one. I love food, especially pizza. Where's the best pizza in the city? We love food and we love pizza as well. We yes. just had pizza tonight. There are quite a few places to get pizza. There are some places that are much better than others. There are some places that would think that they're better than others as well. As far as like probably like the the first pizza place that officially opened in the city was Lombardi's in Little Italy, like Mm -hmm. Nolita area. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's probably one to hit up if you are looking to get a real authentic pizza. Um, Grimaldi's is another one. We've been there a bunch of times. It's under the Brooklyn Bridge. There's another, there's other locations as well. But the one under the Brooklyn Bridge is um, the iconic location. Patsy's, there's a bunch of Patsy's around. That's another similar thing. I mean, yeah, there's too many options for pizza. So just try them all. If there's a line, then you know you're at the right place. If they don't have anyone coming in there to get pizza, then it's probably not very good. Next question. Any tips for first-time visitors? Mm, yeah, there's probably quite a few. Maybe etiquette? Like walk on the right side of the sidewalk. Or if you're going to stand on the escalator, stand on the right, walk on the left. Mm-hmm. Um, don't just stop in the middle of the sidewalk to take a picture. Move to the side. There's definitely a way to like work your way around the normal traffic of pedestrians. Um, yeah. So that's my tip. Don't get in anyone's way. Yeah. If they're going to or from, if they're commuting, they don't want to stop and deal with anybody. Mm-hmm. So move off to the side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that people can get where they're going. Be prepared to walk. A lot of walking. Yeah, and I think you should enjoy the walk. I always like that about the city. You know, we go up there, <clears throat> get off at a subway stop, and instead of like getting back on the subway to go, you know, a few blocks up, take the walk. There's so many things that to see in between the two points. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Sorry. All right, that's a good one. So next question: What are you most excited about in 2020? Oh boy. Hmm. I mean, what generally, I guess we can say, I can, we can elaborate a little bit. What are you excited about? Generally, I'm excited 
to continue doing things with our baby <laughs> with our new kid you know it's he's just getting to the age where he's like excited about things and doing stuff and then it's only gonna get better as it goes along because he's gonna remember more and want to do stuff yeah um so introducing him to new things throughout the, the lot of museums and stuff. i mean like it's yeah. hard to say like if he'll even be cognizant of what museums are and no but it's still it's cool or even just going to the beach you know like sure just doing things. just doing things again for the first time yeah it's pretty neat but i guess more specifically i was talking to him uh to chris the other day about how his bum that <laughs> christmas is almost over oh yeah i think everyone's kind of bummed like, this one came <laughs> out of nowhere this came so quickly so fast that i was like oh now what and like my uh, job gets really busy starting in january so it's just like oh everything's over and then i have to like work really hard <laughs> but we're going on a trip in february and i was like well duh that's only like one month away from the yeah. holidays that i can be excited about and it's winter activity so it feels like the holiday still sure yeah the the holiday season can last as long as you want it to mm -hmm. you know I, th I think a good way to kind of extend the holidays is to kind of go all the way through winter with it yeah and then by the time you're over winter then you're excited for the next season to come yeah. in and you're okay to the holidays is, <laughs> holiday season doesn't need to be like a month you know it can be a little bit longer yeah okay enjoy it this next one, this isn't really a question, but I think it's worth talking about. We've had some uh, an update of information, and we're talking cornbread. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! It never ends. <laughs> cornbread will be life. will be the <laughs> the subtext to this podcast. Oh, um, gosh. The through line will be cornbread versus corn muffins, which is what we've come to understand. Todd from Christmas Clatter reached out to us and let us know the difference saying that the sweet corn bread is corn muffins and the unsweetened is uh, corn bread. I've definitely said that to you before. Yeah, but the way he <laughs> explained you, it made way more sense. He just said that. You know? <laughs> and I've said that. And his, his cornbread but... also sounded like it was delicious. He oh, mentioned it, did. it had like cheese and jalapenos and bacon in it. It sounds really good. Yeah, maybe we should try that one year. Mm -hmm. Well, I... Christmas is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. I want to visit the city during the holidays, but I've heard it's very crowded. When's a good time to visit and avoid the crowds? I'm assuming they mean during the holidays because that's the greatest time to visit here, right? <laughs> it's definitely the busiest time of the year. To I would say, I mean, if you still want to have like the, the feeling of the holidays, January and February are a pretty good time to do that. It's not very busy. Yeah, I think we usually enjoy going out during that time because it's kind of, um, I mean, it's cold for sure. Yeah, so and be prepared for the, pre the cold weather. Yeah, have some jackets and you know, the wind gets caught between the buildings and it feels colder than you think it is. But the there's so much more uh, peace and quiet, I feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can do like all the museums and everything. You're not going to get like the Christmas markets or anything like that, but you'll get ice skating still. Yeah. Um, and yeah there's so many cool indoor things to do so you can get out of the cold when you need to but yeah i would agree with that i think uh, january february is really nice um, if you do need to visit during the holiday in the christmas time i mean try to make your visit during the week as much as you can my family comes up every year and we always try to do things during the week rather than the weekend it's still gonna be busy but it's not as crazy okay so next question are the New York passes worth the $130? Maybe the first time, but I would say that not necessarily, because some of those things you can actually do for cheaper or for free. Mm -hmm. um, like the Natural History Museum, you can just pay them what you would wish. Um, they just give you a suggested amount. Mm -hmm. So you can literally go for five bucks if you want. And then like the Statue of Liberty tour, I know it's Staten Islanders don't like it anymore. <laughs> But you can ride the Staten Island Ferry, or you can ride the other ferries that are out now. There's yeah, the newer New York ferries. City ferries go pretty close to it as well. Yeah, and you can see the Statue of Liberty. Take your pictures as you go along um, on one of the different ferries that go by instead of actually paying for the tour. Um, Ellis Island is pretty cool, though, so I would suggest doing that at least once. Next one. How long did it take after moving to the city for you to feel like a real New Yorker? When I first moved here, I worked on a lot of the food yeah. trucks. And so I was kind of just always out there in Manhattan. And then you end up going to all these other places and you end up working with all these people that are from New York. And you kind of like, you start to like feel it just by being around it. 
Yeah, you got you got were able to explore pretty pretty soon after getting here. Where most of the places that I worked were usually within walking distance of where we live, so I didn't even have to ride the subway to work. Things like that. So I think once we I got a job I really liked and I had to like mix and mingle with people more, like you said. Um yeah, I started to feel a little bit more. You just have to like get out there and be a part of it instead of yeah. an outsider. It, it's it's easy to sustain your apartment and not do anything. Yeah. But to to get the whole experience, it's you got to get out there once in a while and do yeah. stuff. Here we go. I'm visiting the city soon, and I'm worried I'm going to get lost in a bad neighborhood. Do you have any tips for getting around? I would say most places are fine that you're going to be around. Yeah, I don't think most that places that you're going to want to go. Lost. Most places you're going to want to go are probably not going to be a big deal. Yeah, they're usually in not even residential districts. So it's just basically business areas. There's not too much of a thing. And obviously everyone has like smartphones now. You've got, you know, Google Maps, things like that. Like it's it's hard to get lost nowadays. <laughs> yeah, just use your map on your phone. Ask for directions. Like I mentioned earlier, as long as you're not getting in people's way, New Yorkers are pretty friendly, I think. Um, just don't mess with their commute. But if, <laughs> if, if you want yeah. to ask people questions, usually people will be more than happy to let you know or find someone that works for the MTA and ask them. It's literally their job. Yeah. So just just be careful and be be aware, but you should be fine. Yeah, it's a big city, so just uh, don't be naive to things or oblivious. Just yeah. pay attention and you're you're good to go. <laughs> Here's the next one. Hey, you guys mentioned Christmas caroling in Washington Square Park on New Year's Eve. Tell me more. Love the podcast. I'm really excited about going. We we talk about going almost the last few years at least, and uh, we've never gotten to it yet. So this year, yeah, took the day off, and we're we're gonna make sure we're there for it this year. Uh, yeah. Do you want to give some info? It's on from it? five to six mm-hmm. on the twenty fourth at Washington Square Park, the park with the big arch. Yeah. Which you've probably seen in pictures and stuff. That's a short window too, so make sure you get there to, yeah. if you are gonna go. Get there. And have fun. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to try to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and we also might be doing a podcast. We just talked about that tonight. We might yeah. be doing a podcast from caroling. So um, you'll get to hear them do the carol. We'll definitely yeah. record some stuff to play it. I think yeah. that would be kind of fun. Yeah. Just, you know, a little bit of short talking, but also so you can hear the carols. I think it's going to be really cool. Hopefully it sounds nice. And this is probably going to be our last question. What are some of your plans for the podcast after the holidays? Hmm. It's interesting when you have a Christmas based podcast. What do you do when it's not Christmas anymore? Yeah, we really enjoy doing it. So it's not going to just go away until next Christmas. So we'll probably continue it, but maybe just cut down the amount that come out a month. And uh, I think there's probably a lot of stuff we could still talk about, like Natural History Museum and yeah, things that you can visit all year round, yeah. but when you're here during the holidays, you could also. So I would expect, them. I, would, I would expect more of that. I think. That's, yeah. That's, that seems pretty within reason. So that's basically it for this episode. We'll have one more before Christmas, probably on Christmas Eve, or I'm not sure when we'll have it, but <laughs> there'll be at least one more, maybe two. We'll see if we can record some stuff at the carols. But for now, that's about it. Uh, if you like the podcast, please take a minute to rate it and write a review. Contact us and let us know you did, and we'll send you a sticker. So subscribe now and follow us on social media so we can keep the conversation going and keep you posted about new episodes. Yep. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And this is Christmas Time in the City.